Hey everyone, BM here. Trying to catch this Frontosa. I tried to catch him last week, I couldn't. And then we ended up with that heat wave, so I figured I'd wait. Tried to catch him yesterday. He wanted nothing to do with it. So, we're waiting it out. What game we play here? Got both nets in there. They've been in there. Seems like an enemy bolts right in the rocks. Really hate to dismantle the tank. I'll get them. Just gotta be patient. But anyways, Dave, that's that's where we're at. We're waiting it out. He's gotta be a little bit smarter than the frontosa. That's all. I mean, he's gotta come out of there eventually. He's just he, he's not too big now, but he will be. They are slow growers, but. I mean, he's definitely going to be better off where he's going. Uh, I think you said, what, 90 gallon? That's that's perfect. That's nice. Plus, he'll have company. They, they do better with <coughs> in a colony. Um, I actually had two of them when I first got him. I got two of them the same size. And uh, there was a little tiny opening in the top. Um, my cichlid tanks are covered up. Glass covers. There's a little tiny, tiny square opening. <coughs> And one of them found his way through it. I noticed him a couple days out. I didn't know where he went at first. I thought he was hiding. Then I found him down behind the tank. He showed up. I did seal it up since, but so he's been in there by himself, getting bigger. He's doing good, but I know he'd be coming out eventually. So it's just a just a matter of time of catching him. I really don't want to take everything out of here. So just kind of. I've caught every, <laughs> these nets been in here all day, I've caught every fish in here. I, I gotta keep emptying out, the fish keep getting stuck in there. I had a brachati in there, I had one of my tetracanthus in there, the julie was in there. So it's just a matter of time and he's gonna go in one of them. But until then, I, all the other ones, I, I could have caught any one of them by now, except for him, the biggest one in there. I'll get him. These fish don't outsmart me. Look at him, he's a good looking boy. Might even be a female, eh? I'm not sure. But, anyways, Dave, when, uh, as soon as I get them, I'll send you a message let you know. But, oh, another thing, um, went to PetSmart today, pick up a little, uh, just some small stuff, uh, necessities. I don't really buy any livestock there, but I always look. They had frontosas in there for, uh, for about an inch and a half, 16 bucks a piece. They had two of them. I haven't been in there in a while. They actually had, uh, all kinds of new stuff in there. They had some, uh, little gold rams in there they don't usually have plus the Bolivians they had uh, just a bunch of different fish that uh, they had some peacocks in there a couple inches nice colorful peacocks I ne I'd never seen peacocks in Petsmart um, they had some plants in there they, they were packaged plants but they were nice plants um, a, a different selection than what they usually have but I don't know I don't know if they're the same way where you live but we're checking out but anyways, uh, that's that. Thanks for watching, guys.